29.30. The temperature... Okay, I have no idea if this worked. <laughs> Uh, that's the downside of not having a flippy screen. I don't even know if you call it a flippy screen, but that's the downside of not having a flippy screen. I don't know if I'm in focus or not, but I'm gonna do this anyways, because everything inside me said I'm not going to be doing this. Let me explain. For the last few days, I've been super tired. And when I say super tired, I mean so tired that I've been fighting to keep my eyes open the entire time. And the crazy thing is that I do go to bed at 1 a.m. I should probably go to bed at like 9 or something or 10, but I just can't for some reason. Have you ever been, uh, have you ever felt that way too? That you're just so tired, but at the same time, as soon as you're in bed, you're still so tired, but you cannot sleep. Maybe, maybe I should call it exhaustion, like I'm so exhausted, but not like tired. I don't know, I've been, I've been trying to keep my eyes... I've been trying to keep my eyes open for the last few days and I couldn't do anything. Like, I am amazed that I cooked at night because I just... I didn't even cook all nights, but... <laughs> I don't even know what the point of this vlog is going to be, to be honest. I do have some things that I want to share with you, so there is going to be some things. I didn't vlog yesterday, but I want to put a vlog out today, which means that I'm kind of doing daily vlogging 2.0 because I'm actually daily vlogging. Well, I'm, I'm doing a daily vlog, but like for one day, so only today. But why I call it a daily vlog is because usually what you do is you vlog and you edit and you upload. Although I do think that a lot of daily vloggers, they upload what they did yesterday. I'm actually uploading what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna hopefully upload that tonight. I'm not sure if it's gonna be my tonight or your tonight if you're in America. It's, I think it's gonna be your tonight. <laughs> Maybe you've seen this and it's so exciting. I actually passed 200 subscribers. It is, it is insane. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm so excited about this. I'm most excited about is the connection that I'm having with all of you and like I feel like we are building friendships right here we're building this like I don't know if we should call it a community but like this little community and I'm building these amazing friendships with a lot of you and I'm so appreciative of that and I'm so grateful for that and honestly <laughs> you had me sweating for a little bit when I did my last vlog where I asked you if you could go to my Twitter or Instagram and give me a follow and then come back but I knew that I could trust you. I mean, I knew that you would come back because this thing that we that we're building together or that we're having already, it's 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 pretty rock solid. It's pretty rock solid. And if you're new here, we we all are freaking amazing together. So if you want to join, make sure to hit subscribe and let me know in the comments. Say hi, say something so that I know that you watched and that you know, we can, we can grow this thing. I mean, it's pretty awesome. And now that I actually mentioned my last vlog, I think it's only fair to show you that I can actually lick my elbow. So I'm going to insert that clip right now and then I'm gonna get ready because this is, I mean, it's Sunday, so I don't really care if I wear this in public, but you know, I'm just gonna pretend that I'm an adult and I know what I'm doing and that I can actually dress proper. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I am not like that, but I'm just gonna... I shouldn't even pretend that I am, but you know, let's let's just... I don't know, I don't want you to feel comfortable to walk next to me and to be with me while I wear this, so I'm just gonna change into something more appropriate. All right, let's, let's do this. I'm gonna come a little bit closer now. I'm gonna do this, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready to see this? Ha! I told you I could do it. You're probably wondering why I was wearing makeup while I was still in my pajamas. Well, usually, or at least like something I like to do, ooh, this thing is heavy. Usually what I do is I put on my makeup in my hair, 
I don't put on my hair. This is real. But <laughs> I do my makeup and I do my hair. And then I just wear my pajamas all day for as long as I can. And if it's the weekend, it's going to be all day. And if it's not the weekend, I'm just going to try to wear it for as long as I can. <laughs> because it's just, it's just comfortable. What I was saying earlier, I really, as you know, I appreciate you guys. I'm not going to say it in every vlog, even though I do. And I want to share the love with you. Um, I just enjoy it so much that that is kind of the reason why I want to do more personal vlogs. Also because not only that I can connect with you, but also because I can be a little bit more creative and a little bit like more like myself. Not that I'm not myself when I'm doing tutorials, but I feel like in a vlog you have all the freedom and in a tutorial you have a certain purpose. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. I am not sure. Oh my god, there is a man. There is a man in his underwear on the rooftop drinking beer. <laughs> this is really ridiculous. I wish I could show you, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. I don't want to embarrass him. That's even though he's kind of embarrassing himself. Live and let live. I completely lost my train of thoughts. Like this. This is what I do. If you know me, you know that I'm so easily distracted by everything. It's crazy. I remember. Um, what I wanted to ask you is how you feel about doing these personal vlogs. Because I know that you come here for tutorials and camera stuff because that's what my channel is all about. But I would like to know because, you know, I like to get to know you and I ho hopefully you like to get to know me. I was wondering if this is something that you want because everyone always tells you that if you're on YouTube, you should niche down and adding personal vlogs to my channel is the opposite of niching down. But I have so much more to say and like there is so much more to me than just cameras and filmmaking, even though as you know, I have a huge passion and a huge heart for all that, but I have so many other things that I want to talk about and share with you and start conversations with, conversations about. I would just really appreciate it if you would go to the comments and let me know if you want to see more vlogs like this or if you're just like, nah, just keep it to the tutorials and stuff. I'm asking you because I value your opinion, so I would really, really appreciate it. All right, let's, let's see if my bread is ready. Yesterday I bought some bread, which I just put in the oven because it's a little bit old now. Do you know? Do you, what do you do with old bread? Do you just throw it away? Like, ow. This is not my best angle. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do if you're a vlogger. I don't know how people do this with one hand only. Let me see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put my plate in the oven. Ow. Look at that. All right, now I need it to cool down because I'm going to put some avocado on it. And oh yeah, I'm that kind of person. I do have a dryer like right there. There's my dryer. Don't interrupt me. I do have a dryer, but some things I just don't want to put in my dryer. So, you know, I just hang them all over my house. So if you ever see that in any of my vlogs, just know, yeah, that's the kind of person that I am. I honestly don't know why I keep walking around, but I just, I just feel like that's what you're supposed to do when you're vlogging. I'm just gonna sit down for a second. I think two or three weeks, two, two or three, what? Two or three weeks ago, I uploaded a hologram tutorial and I said, if you wanna do it, feel free to recreate it and let me know that you recreated it. And Graham and Gabriel actually recreated it and they put it in their vlog or their video. And I wanna share that with you because I'm so proud of them. And if you're watching this, I'm so proud of you. This is so cool. Looking for juice again. Can't decide on a new juice to try. I mean, isn't that awesome? If you want to recreate either my clone tutorial or my hologram tutorial, make sure to DM me or tag me or do something in case I missed it so I can see it. And 
I think I'm just gonna keep on, you know, including these things in my vlog because it makes me so freaking proud and happy that you're doing this and that we're all like learning these new things and doing these new things together. Also, if you've seen my clone tutorial, you've seen the bird poop on my window. And this time we are going to clone ourselves. But I have a very good explanation for this. If you open my windows, spiders will come in. So I just leave everything the way that it is. And trust me, I tried a few times to get rid of all the spiders, but as soon as I got rid of them, like within a week, they would be back. I have no idea what's going on, but this is like my windows of horror. So if in the future you see anything on my windows or you're just like, Lila, why are your windows so dirty? It's because I'm freaking afraid of spiders and there are so, so many spiders here. I just had my lunch and it was so good. I had bread with avocado and I forgot to film it. So, you know, vlogger mistake number one. I think I'm gonna go outside and I think I'm gonna take you outside as well because the weather is just really nice and yesterday it was raining all day. If you saw my Instagram story, you know that it was raining all day. There was actually some thunder, which I didn't capture, but yeah, it wasn't a good day. The last few days actually haven't been that good. And I want to talk to you about a video that I saw because that reminded me of something that I truly believe in. I don't even want to talk about it. Mm. So I went outside, like I said, and I took my phone instead of my camera because my camera is just too heavy for me to carry around, especially on a walk. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I'm going to take my phone because normally that is just fine, but it was super windy. And for some reason, I just kept on vlogging and I shared something that's really near and dear to my heart and something that I really wanted to share with you but the audio is just unusable. It's just, it's crap. So when I just found that out and it's almost midnight, I was just like, nah, I'm done. Never mind. I'm just deleting this vlog. N -n 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 I'm done. But you know what? This time I'm going to tell myself done is better than perfect because I thought, you know, I really want to go outside. I don't want to tell my story there because then it's, like more inspirational or something, I don't know. But I can just as well tell it right here, right now. So yeah, done is better than perfect. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tell you the story anyways. And um, I'm so sorry that this vlog is all over the place. So basically the video that I wanted to talk to you about is made by Cody and he uploaded it last week. And it's about his trip to Honduras and the water system that they just put in place less than two, three weeks ago. And it was very inspiring to see how the community worked together and how organizations put their time and effort and money in those systems and in those communities. And that there's people that visit those places to raise awareness to other people like us. And that is something that really inspired me. I have always been passionate about a lot of things and there's one thing that I truly believe in. This video really inspired me because it reminded me of who I am and who I used to be and who I, who I am inside. Because sometimes there's other priorities in life and you kind of forget this part of yourself. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact that there is a lot of you who are just like me who want to change the world or at least do good. I mean, I saw a video from Liam from Viola doing the exact same thing. People like them and those kind of videos, they inspire me so much because I've always been like that. Ever since I was little, I would go door to door and try to save the wildlife by raising money. I would make little bracelets and go door to door and try to sell them so my grandmother, who was a volunteer for over 30 years in Mali, she could take the money and then buy something, but little did I know that you couldn't really buy anything <laughs> with that money. And when I was nine years old, I decided to become a vegetarian because I just, I didn't think it was okay. And I still don't think it's okay how the modern industry treats innocent animals. And because I'm so passionate about a lot of things, I've, al I've also had some backlash because I've had friends and I remember this 
one conversation or like heated discussion in particular with a friend who told me that it was just bullshit what I was doing because she said that, you know, you're not gonna change the world. You're not gonna save the world. You're not gonna do anything because you are just one person. So you can just keep on eating meat. You can just use all the plastic you want because you're not gonna make a change. And it was a heated argument because I, I 100% do not believe that that is true. I believe that it only takes one person to not change the world, but make an impact. Because for example, I have had discussions with people or conversations with people about eating meat and about using plastic and about other things that are very important to me, but I'm not this pushy vegetarian. Don't worry about that. I'm not pushy, but if someone wants to know something, I'm more than willing to have that conversation. That's what I'm here for. That's what I do. And after having those conversations, I have actually received a few messages from people telling Telling me that they either stop eating meat or they reduce their meat intake or they're not using any more plastic or they're bringing their bag to the supermarket just small changes and no you're not going to change the world but you can make such a big impact because if you can only inspire one person to do something similar and that person inspires another person that's how you get the ball rolling and that is how change is made don't get me wrong this is not going to turn into a preachy vlog but my point is that we can all do something and we don't need to go and volunteer in Africa and we don't need to partake in demonstrations. I mean, if you wanna do those things, if you wanna fight for peace, I 100% respect you, but that is not what I'm asking for you. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you can make a change. No matter what that change is, even if it's just smiling at someone in the supermarket, maybe that person had a bad day and maybe that smile is all the person needed that day. I mean, we have such a big impact and we can all do a lot of things. Even if it's just one of us, even if just you start doing something today, you should never underestimate your value and your potential and what you can do with your life and in your life on this planet. There are so many things. If you make a vlog, you can make someone happy. You can make someone forget about this awful thing that's going on in his or her life right now. You can, like I said, smile at someone in the supermarket or you can write a blog post about something. It doesn't have to be big. We don't need to travel to the other side of the world to make a change. We can make a change right here, right now. You don't need to do it for wildlife. You don't need to do it for the planet. You can just do it for your surrounding, just people that are close to you or just people on the internet. For example, you guys leave the most amazing comments on my video and that actually makes my day and it gives me motivation. And sometimes when, when I'm feeling down and I read those things, that's what gives me the energy to keep going and just do the things that I wanna do. And you probably didn't even think about it that way. We all have so much potential and that is what I want you to know and that is what the entire vlog outside was about. This is something that I really wanted to share with you because it's something that I am very passionate about and I think that together we can do so many things. If you're just gonna sit at home thinking that you're just one person and you cannot achieve anything by yourself and you're completely ignoring all the potential that you have, we don't need that in a world. We need people like you because I know, like I already said, there are a bunch of you who are already doing these amazing things. And I wanna hear your stories, whether you've done something or you're doing something or you're going to do something that will either help someone or just, even if it's just for a day, just let me know because I think that you guys are awesome and I'm sure that you all have amazing stories because we all have a story, we all have potential and yes, it is late so I keep repeating myself. The vlog that I shot outside was way higher in energy and way more passionate but it's midnight so excuse the, uh, the energy right now and all the rambling and everything else. Anyways, this vlog is about done is better than perfect and to use your voice because your voice matters if you like this vlog please let me know in the comments go and hit that like button especially because i did it i completed a challenge i mean i am actually kind of flabbergasted because 
I didn't think that I would shoot this vlog and then edit it and upload it. Even with having to delete half of the vlog because I couldn't use any of it, I did it. I think I deserve a like for that, so go give me a like, please. Leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and you want to join me and these amazing people and I'll see you in my next video or next vlog or I don't know. I'll see you next time.